Hey everyone, Skull902 back here again for Tales in Sonic 1. Last time we left off, I died in a really stupid fucking way. <laughs> it just like it did it gave me no invincibility time and it crushed me and it was it was very sad. I was a sad boy, but we're back here in Starlight Zone. Let's do this properly, for God's sake. <laughs> There's a part coming later up that's uh, very similar in nature, and I'll uh, I'll get to that when we get to that. But uh, first of all, uh, let, let's talk about the pace in Sonic One because that's a that's a point that's used against it. But I actually think it's rather balanced uh, because like people are like, oh man, Sonic One is so horribly paced. But uh, like, uh, let's just break this down, right? We've got Green Hill Zone, which is one of the faster zones in the game. Then we got Marble Zone, which is slower. Right, uh, and then we have uh, Spring Yard, which is sort of middle of the pack. Then we get Labyrinth Zone, another slow one. Starlight, which is fast. Scrap Brain, which again can be fast or slow depending. Uh, and then, well, there's Final Zone, but that's really just a, <laughs> that's really just a boss. So, you know, I'd say that it's fairly balanced, and the reason why they put zones in that were uh, more slow and whatnot, like uh, Marble Zone and Labyrinth Zone, was because uh, they wanted to give players a bit of a break after uh, playing uh, a speedy zone like Green Hill or a somewhat speedy zone like uh, like Scrap blah Scrap Brain <laughs> Spring Yard. So you know, like uh, I I I don't really get the uh, zone pace complaint because it's it's just it's fine to me. Uh, I've never experienced any sort of um, like speed weirdness, if if I can put it like that, playing Sonic One. Not as any character, not as uh, Knuckles or Tails or Sonic or Shadow. Yes, there's a Shadow hack. Uh, I'm, I mean, it's not really that hard of a thing to believe. I think, actually, they put, like, melee moves and a homing attack in that one, but I could be wrong. I'll have to play that again. I, I just remember it being, like, kind of the worst of the, uh, of the ones that's, like, you know, Tails, Knuckles, and the Shadow one. I haven't played any other ones, like Sally Acorn or Amy Rose or any other character in Sonic 1. Just... Just, just uh, Sonic, the original game, Tails like this, Knuckles, and then Shadow. But yeah, I'll definitely have to check that out. <laughs> so here we are, Act Three. This is uh, we're coming up to the part where uh, I was talking about it's just fucking insane. <laughs> or no, I shouldn't be using that terminology. It's not, it's not so much insane as it is rather sad. <laughs> <laughs> that this happened to me multiple times uh, in like the same recording session because you know this this game doesn't save or anything so uh, I had to play it all in one shot which I mean I'm completely fine with Sonic One is a short and easy enough game you know it's it's whatever but like you see I I'm just I'm just trying to do some fly skips which everyone should call it that but like from now on so I'm flying here and then oh. Okay, I got myself into a bit of a pickle. Let's just let's just try to let's just try to get out. Oh, we can't spin dash out. Now, what I tried here was doing a uh, zip. Uh, it's a speed running trick where you can like uh, launch yourself into a different part of the level. But ultimately, nothing I could do was working out, and so I just decided to wait it out. So I'm not gonna make you sit through that. Cut. And we're back. So, I actually waited for the, uh, the time over screen, and, you know, obviously I just, I just got the footage, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's just pretend I didn't die like that, trapping myself in, in a part of the stage that I had absolutely no right in being. <laughs> or, had, had no right to be in, as I should say, like, you know, a fucking human being. <laughs> uh... Oh, goodness. But that, that was really amusing. And here's actually a part where I thought that I did that again, but thankfully I was able to get myself out. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> that was that was just really bad. <laughs> but thankfully there's uh, nothing like that in, in the rest of the game. Uh, I, 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 I know what I'm doing. Or at least I think I do. You know, I, I've only played this game so many fucking times. 
you know, <laughs> I should know what I'm doing. Like, uh, here, a great example of knowing what I'm doing. I knew that spring was there, so I jumped so that I wouldn't get sprung by it. it, it, it just, just, uh, complete and total, uh, genius strats right there. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, oh boy, I'm not that good at video games. But, yeah, just, uh, another, uh... Just another boss here, Teeter Totter Robotnik. This one's actually my favorite boss in the game, because it, it, it's it's an interesting thing. And I, <laughs> I admittedly, I guess I have like a uh, sort of childish fun getting launched so high by the fucking Teeter Totter uh, to hit Robotnik. But uh, you know, it's 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 a fun time, and uh, Robotnik, well, you know, he he's just miserable. He's not having a fun time. Uh, but, you know, that's, uh, that's fine, because Robotnik is a douchebag. Ladies and gentlemen, Robotnik is a douchebag. But, yeah, I'm gonna have to wrap it up here, so see you guys next time.